everyone. Welcome to Make It Monday, where we embrace imperfection and try new things. My name is Leslie, and I am the Reading Machine Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. And today, we are going to be making circle art. If you were with me last week, you remember that we did triangle art, and this week we're going to do the same thing, only with circles. And here's the thing about circles, is they're hard to draw. They're harder to draw, in my opinion, than triangles. And so we will need some objects to be to use to trace them and make good circles. So in order to do this project, you will need a pencil. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need glue. You'll need some colored paper that we're going to use to draw the circles on and then cut them out. And then you will need a piece of paper to glue it all onto, and I have this piece of white card stock. You can use whatever color, whatever kind of paper you like for any of this. And then the last thing that we're gonna need is the most fun part of this project, which is you're going to have to go around your house and find some items that we'll make, you can use to trace and make circles on your page. So I have some examples here that I'm gonna show you. I've got, this glue stick that I'm also gonna to use to glue, but look, circle, okay? I've got a cup here, and there's a circle on the bottom, and bonus, circle on the top. I've got the top of an Easter egg, okay? Circle, a Reese's peanut butter cup, which you can use to make a small circle, and then, you know, a slightly bigger circle. I've got chapstick. I've got this really beautiful box that I've had for years that says circle and can be used to draw a circle. I've got this bottle of lotion, circle on the bottom, circle on the top. So you get the idea, right? Oh, and let me just show you one more thing. This plate I'm going to use to make a big circle. And then on the bottom, I could use as well to make a circle because this is See how it slightly sticks out? So I could trace the bottom part too and make a slightly smaller but still really big circle. So those are the circles that I'm going to use. I'm going to use to make what I'm going to ultimately glue onto my page. So I want you now to go and find some items around your house that will make excellent tracing for circles. Okay, so you do that and then come back and meet me here. All right, see you soon. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do for this project is to make circles with our items. I've got my items all over my desk here and I'm gonna use them to make circles onto this, my scratch pieces of paper. So I'm gonna start with this bowl here. I'm gonna put it down and then I'm gonna draw, use my pencil to trace around it, okay? I got a nice, nice circle there, see? I'm also gonna use my Reese's peanut butter cup to trace. And then I'm gonna do the top as well to make a smaller circle. And this one's kind of harder to draw on because of the the ridges on here, but still works out to make a circle. I am going to use my beautiful box to make another circle. And now I think I'm gonna switch colors and draw on the other paper. I've got this piece of paper right here. I'm gonna use this Easter egg to make circles on here. Okay, so why don't you grab your objects and trace your circles onto your paper and then we'll meet up here again. Okay, friends, I have gone through and drawn circles on all these pieces of paper. So I have a nice wide variety of colors and now I'm going to cut them out. I've got my circles here all cut out, variety of colors and sizes. And now I'm kind of just gonna arrange them on my paper and see what I like. So 
So this is what I've come up with for mine. I like this, the way it looks right now. It just looks kind of fun. And so I think I'm gonna kind of do this generally, but I'm gonna have to remove everything to glue. So I will do that and then work on gluing everything down. Remember, if your picture starts to look like different than the way you laid it out, that's totally fine. And also, if you need to make more circles, you totally can stop this process and then make more circles because I've totally had to do that before. So just a reminder that you aren't stuck with the circle, only these circles, and you aren't stuck with, you know, the the original layout that maybe you, you'd done for your picture. It's okay for things to, to change. Okay, friends, look, this is my finished product. These are all my circles that I cut out and they're just kind of arranged on here in a, just a fun and random and funky way. And this kind of just looks fun to me. I really like it. And if you wanted to, you could fill in all the spaces or you could leave them white like I have. You could put some paint over it, maybe splatter some paint if you wanted to or some glitter, whatever you want. Anything goes, I'm gonna leave mine like this, but the sky is the limit on these projects. You can do whatever you want. Do not be afraid. So anyway, this is what I have for us this week. Thank you so much for joining me again for Make It Monday. I hope you will make some things this week. I hope you will share them with us. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.